are in listen-only mode. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you for taking the time out of your day today to join us for vision and strategic planning, building relationships that count. Uh, we won't keep you long today, so. My name is David Lang. I'm the Senior Director of Sales and Strategic Partnerships for the American Association of Private Lenders. I know that most of you are expecting to hear Matt Benson, the Executive Director of the AAPL, today, but Matt had a personal issue he had to take care of and he couldn't join us, so I hope that you'll uh, continue to listen to me. Before we get started, I'm going to quickly run through a few housekeeping items. First, please make sure that your phone is muted. Uh, second thing is the recording will be available on our website, aaplonline.com, along with the presentation slides. P please feel free to ask questions when you have them. I'll respond to some of the questions at the end, and others we may follow up with after. It all depends on timing. And if you're a social butterfly, please use the hashtag that's on the screen, hashtag AAPLWebinar. So let's get started. On your control panel, you should see a little hand in a circle. Maybe the third one down. Who here is a private lender? Okay, I see a few hands going up. And now, how many of you invest in notes? All right, a lot more hands going up. For those of you investing in notes, do you realize that you could be considered a private lender? There are many different ways to be a private lender, and note buying and selling qualifies you. As some of you may have heard me at the NIS Summit in San Diego, in our opinion at the American Association of Private Lenders, note buyers and sellers are private lenders because when you buy a discounted note, even though you didn't buy it at full price, you are now the bank. So that makes you a private lender. So no matter how you become a private lender, we all have similar challenges and obstacles to overcome. So what's keeping you up at night? And what does that mean? We all have similar struggles. The same things are keeping us all up at night. And the first thing that springs to my mind is that I don't want to get caught in a lawsuit. Obviously, those of you that have been involved in litigation know how difficult it is, how much it costs, both emotionally and physically and financially. You just do not want to get sued. With the, lit, with the industry changing every day, who has time to keep track of changing legislation? Do you have the time to monitor all the discussions about Dodd-Frank, CFPB, or the SEC? And if you can't keep track of the legislation, how do you know if you're really structuring deals appropriately? And finally, maybe you're a legislative genius and it all makes perfect sense to you, but you just want more lucrative deals and need more exposure. Then you're not alone. Our network has a wide range of people and organizations. Some are just getting started and others shown here are the most influential, some of them shown here, beg your pardon, are the most influential in the industry. We have great relationships with our members who are all supportive of one another. Some of our friends at, we're going to go back a slide for a second. We've got good friends at Note School, the Garachi Law Firm, uh, Mid-Atlantic IRA, and others listed on the page. So why do you want to network? It's important because it helps you understand your competition and your market. Now, I'm sure many of you saw the, the Godfather many, many years ago. And at one point, Michael Corleone tells one of his associates to keep your friends close and your enemies closer. If you don't have a handle on what your competition is doing, how can you excel in the market? You can also share stories. You get to share both success stories and horror stories, both of which can help you in your own adventure. And finally, one aspect that most people won't consider is networking with your competition can help generate more leads. And as we all know, it's all about deal flow. You're probably saying, Dave, 
talking to my competitors can't help me with leads, but it does. If you build the right relationships with your competitors, you know, you may pick up a deal because if your competitor can't do a certain deal for whatever reason, because of the relationship he has with you, perhaps he refers that deal over to you and you make a few bucks. Okay, at the core of any great network is a great mentor. The importance of a mentoring relationship becomes evident as we recognize the value of networking and maintaining relationships throughout our professional career. The value of a good mentor is immeasurable when it comes to learning the tricks of the trade as well as becoming connected to those in the know. Now I can say personally, I have started to look into investing in real estate and when I needed help on private lending, I called David Owen down at Pride of Austin Capital because he's a good mentor and he, he's always willing to answer a question. You know, a mentor can help you alleviate lots of frustrations by sharing their insights and knowledge. We have several members who have become mentors and we're actually starting an official mentoring program that we hope to have launched later this summer. Now let's talk about the American Association of Private Lenders and how it really fits in helping you build strategic relationships. We are the first and only national organization supporting private lenders. In an unregulated industry, our mission is to hold private lending professionals and those who provide services to the highest professional standards. But we all like that we have unre an unregulated profession, and we like to keep it that way. We need The only way for us to accomplish that is by doing business the right way. Our code of ethics is is what guides us in the right direction. Each member voluntarily abides by the code of ethics. Just as doctors take the Hippocratic Oath, private lenders have the AAPL code of ethics. We are like the good housekeeping seal of approval for the industry. Our education and training is heavily influenced by the code of ethics. We've built a reputation for being the go-to for ethical complaints. My colleague Chrissy, who's here with me this afternoon, she's the producer of this event. She gets lots of phone calls and emails throughout the week verifying the legitimacy of lenders and other service providers. Our network is filled with private lenders, brokers, attorneys, accountants, loan servicers, as well as many investors. And we are able to help those members connect, we are able to help connect them with the best tools and education so that they can be influential in the private lending space. One of our endorsed project products or strategic alliances is with Loan MLS. Loan MLS is an online marketplace for buying and selling notes. They currently have around 20,000 registered users. They charge flat fees on their note transactions and it's free to connect with them. So if you just go to LoanMLS.com, you, you can register as a member. It's free of charge. They're going to ask for your email address and a couple other key points of data. And then you're able to look at the Loan MLS website. Loan MLS has performing, re-performing, non-performing, first and second liens, and mortgage pools. OK, I've seen a few questions pop up during the presentation, so I'll start answering those. If anyone else has questions, please feel free to ask at this time. We've been asked about the types of certification we offer. We have 10 professional certifications, such as computer training, customer service training, leadership, project management, and communications. They can all be found at aaplonline.com under the Education tab. You can click on that link and see the specific curriculums for those certifications. The other opportunities we have as part of the AAPL is our professional designations. We have a certified fund manager and a certified private lending associate. Now historically, as many of you may know, both of these designations have only been available live at our annual conference. But at the end of April, the certified private lending associate, CPLA, will be available digitally now the CFM or Certified Fund Manager is still only available in the live in a live classroom setting. This year it'll be at our annual conference, November 8th, in Las Vegas. These certifications and designations are only available to current AAPL members. 
Okay, I've got another really good question. How do we respond to those phone calls verifying lenders? Well, it can be really tricky. It's much easier for us if the caller is asking about a member of ours and to verify if they're a member. But it's also extremely important for us to make sure we don't say anything that could potentially have a negative impact. Back to that not wanting to get sued thing. So on someone who's doing a legitimate business providing a legitimate service, we oftentimes, really Chrissy oftentimes, responds by telling the caller that the person or organization they're asking about is not a current member of the association and we have no insight into their business methods. But we also ask them if they are concerned about a certain experience they're having. If we recognize any red flags, we do encourage them to continue the research and ramp up their due diligence even more. And finally, if there are some legitimate concerns raised, we promote our own list of lenders. And our own list of lenders is accessible online at aaplonline.com under the Resources tab. If you pull down on that, there is a list of the members of the American Association of Private Lenders. OK, I'm going to take one more question before we wrap up today. And that is, do we help find lenders for those who need them? Yes, we do. We have a new company that we're just starting called Affinity Referral Services. And we're embarking on a partnership with this service, also run by the Affinity Group Management, where you, as an investor, would email a loan request to us, and then we match it with the database of lenders that we have. And we are looking for quality deal flow for all those in need. Now, we consider this a win-win service for the investors and the private lenders, because we have the relationship with the private lenders and, in, and by developing a relationship with investors, we're hoping that we can get deals funded quicker. Okay, thanks for all your questions. I'm sorry we couldn't get to all of them, but Chrissy and Linda, as well as the rest of the team, will respond to you after the presentation. So to wrap up, I just wanted to review a few key points. One, note investors equal private lenders. Two, Always, you always want to be ethical. You always want to do things the right way. The, the easiest way to keep regulators from getting involved is by doing things the right way. Three, you can't succeed alone. I would suggest you find a mentor. There are many people in the AAPL who would be glad to help you. Uh, you. You can't do it alone, and hopefully by getting a mentor, you won't make the same mistakes that your mentor made. And finally, the best tools for education and network is available through the American Association on Private Lenders. So we have a couple of special we have a special offer for those of you that are interested in becoming members. Uh, we have 25% off any level of membership. It's only good through tomorrow, March 11th. I would suggest you contact me or the team here at info at AAPL online.com or you could give us a call at 913-888-1250. Uh, finally our next webinar is next is on Wednesday, March the 18th. Uh, our friends at Weltman, Weinberg and Reese will be presenting that and they're going to be talking about real estate foreclosure and loss mitigation. Now you can get information on this webinar by visiting aaplonline.com and looking under events. Thank you again for your time. I hope you enjoyed today's presentation. Please feel free to reach out to me or another member of our staff with any question you have at info at aaplonline.com. Have a great rest of the week.